So starting tomorrow morning, about four in the morning, I am going to start my attempt to break the Guinness World Record for the fastest female hand cycling lands into John O'Groats. I'm excited. Now we've got the team together um, and obviously got the vehicle, um, you know, having this, the sign writing on, on the, the Tesoro is just awesome. So it's kind of, it's made it really real. I've been planning this journey for years, absolute years. It was something that I've, I've always wanted to do. I started literally, you know, an idea, um, just me thinking, right, what do I need to make this a performance goal? Who do I need on my team? Um, how, what's it got to look like? Well, how are we going to build it? I've been in para sport since 2011. I don't like being inside, I just want to be outside. So um, I said to my physio, can I get a hand bike you know, and do the physio outside? And, and she was like, okay, as long as you're not going to race it. <laughs> of course. It gives me more freedom. You know, it's my, my uh, vehicle for adventure as well. So it's racing, it, it's, it's social, it's adventure, it's health, it's wellbeing, it's everything. I love my bike. I've got uh, two charities that I've partnered up with for Hand Cycle Britain. Uh, Adaptive Grand Slam Foundation, which are an amazing charity. They kind of support injured military, but also civilians to uh, in kind of rehab through adventure and through mountaineering, a lot to do with. So I actually uh, work with them to climb my first mountain since my stroke, which was in incredible. Um, and also there's Arctic One that are my second charity partner. And, and they support anyone with a disability to getting active and getting healthy through sport. So whether that's through um, equipment or physio or training or prosthetics or anything like that. Uh, so you can support them by going through my website. Uh, so melnichols.co.uk forward slash Britain. Or I have also got some Just Giving and Virgin Giving pages as well, but all the links are on there. Marquis have been absolutely fantastic as a headline sponsor. Living in Tewkesbury in Gloucestershire, we've got a branch literally five minutes from my house and they have been brilliant. To have the vehicle, um, we're, you know, we have a base camp every night, we're gonna stay at a campsite. So it, it is camping, but it's a bit of luxury camping. You know, on, on the, the Tesoro, I've got a fixed bed, so I'll be having a bed sleeping every night. We've got my physio on the road, so she'll be treating me from the van. So throughout the day, the van will be kind of hopscotching ahead, stopping off where, where needed. Um, they can cook my porridge for a second breakfast. My bike's in the garage in the back. It's just a great base to have, and um, it would have been really, really difficult, you know, without such support like that. So very, very grateful. I have to be setting off first light, so around half past four. I plan to do either four hour blocks or 50 kilometres, whichever comes first, and I hope that's going to be 50 kilometres. It's going to be a good sort of 10 to 12 hour cycling every day, I think. Good luck, Mel.